The chocolate I love, but I'm not quite sure why we have Easter. What is it for? Bunnies and chickens, pretty spring flowers, sunnier weather and wet April showers? But then I found out I'd got it all wrong. I'd totally missed it, the point, all along. Easter is way more than I ever knew. The story behind it is actually true. The story it starts a long time ago. A baby was born and began to grow, up into a man who was kind and true. His name was Jesus, and he was God too. God as a human like you and like me, lived alongside us so that we would see how much he loves us, how special we are. He sent his son Jesus down from afar. And when Jesus came to show us God's love, he chose to make real the plan from above, to make a new way for all people here, to be friends with God without any fear. God always wanted the best for us all. He longs to be near us, but sometimes we fall. Sometimes we mess up and push him away, and he can't pretend that's somehow okay. It's sad, yes I know, but don't be afraid. God made a way for the price to be paid, once and for all, and for all humankind. God sent his son in a plan they designed. In what Jesus did so, so long ago, he took our mess-ups and sorted them so we didn't have to stay so far apart from God's epic love, his huge, great big heart. Jesus reminded the people of what God said was important, but they just could not see where they'd gone wrong or why Jesus cared. Most of the time, they just argued and stared. Some followed Jesus. They heard what he said. They saw what he did and went where he led. They caught a small glimpse of God's mighty plan. They really believed in this awesome man. When Jesus told people that he was God's son, some didn't like it and wanted him gone, so they plotted and schemed to make Jesus pay. They came up with a plan to take him away. He'd done nothing wrong, but they didn't care. He was a problem, and it wasn't fair to punish this man for being so great. But the crowds were mad and full of pure hate. They nailed him up on a cross on a hill. They left him up there and waited until he died. He was gone. They took him away and found a place near for his body to lay. The thing is, you see, that when Jesus died, his friends were so sad they cried and they cried. He told them before it wouldn't be long before he would leave, but they thought him wrong. How could they have known that he would be killed? They thought he'd come to change the whole world. How could he do that now he wasn't there? He'd said he'd stay with them, didn't he care? he told them before that only he could make everything right by shedding his blood. Because only he could be good enough to put it all right through God's awesome love. But they'd forgotten what Jesus had said. He told them he'd die, then rise from the dead. And so you can see what they'd be thinking. Jesus was gone, their whole world was sinking. Three long days later, some women went back to the place where they'd laid him and, in fact, he wasn't there, he'd risen from the dead. They couldn't believe it, just like he said. And that's the whole point of Easter, you see, that Jesus, he died for you and for me. Through what he did, he changed everything. And that's what Easter is celebrating. <laughs>